he places the IV in my arm, puts me in the machine, turns the music on, turns it off, pulls me out of the freaking machine. Hi, this is Di. We are at an imaging center. I am getting an MRI of my ears at IVC. So they go into my audio canal and MRI it just to make sure I had a tumor in this ear movement since they want to make sure that everything's okay. They have a fireplace. Nice. Hey, Jerry's here. Hi, honey. Head it in. The person in there is having an abdominal MRI because they have to hold their breath. Of course, the usual challenge, they have to start an IV on me. It doesn't always go well. Let's see how long it looks. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. interesting I didn't get my MRI he did my IV placement and everything and said he won't do it because of the shot in my head I he says I have to produce a card and documentation I've never had a card or documentation in 15 years <sighs> big breaths I'll tell Jerry the story when we get to the car okay so here's the story why I'm shaking and I'm going to lose my marbles and I had to get out of that place before I said anything so you have to go back the new ear doctor scheduled me to have an MRI of my IAC, my mm -hmm. inner audio canal. Mm -hmm. He schedules me to have the MRI, schedules it through his hospital. They call me to make the appointment. It goes to voicemail. I, um, I call them back and I say, has this gone through the insurance? And they say, oh no, we won't put it through the insurance until you book the appointment. Which is backwards, by the way. You put it through the insurance and make sure it'll clear and then you book the appointment. So I say, let's schedule it a few weeks out because I want it to clear the insurance first. And I schedule it. She takes no medical history whatsoever. I come down for the appointment. They hand me the medical history. At reception, I tell the receptionist, I have a VP shunt in reception. And I hand her that sheet of paper and show her that I have a VP shunt. Nothing. The paperwork is handed to the tech. The tech takes me. I go back. The tech has the paperwork. He comes out. He places the IV in my arm. Puts me in the machine, screws something up where it's pulling my hair or something, it's hurting like heck. But anyway, I decide I'm going to bear it because he can't get it right. Puts me in the machine, turns the music on, turns it off, pulls me out of the freaking machine, and tells me he won't do it unless I can show him the card for my shunt. Jerry, I've had a shunt for 15 years. When did I have a card for my shunt? Never. It's a, not as I'd never had one, did I? A card? A card, you know, like for when you go through the airport and you show them what brand it is and all of that. 15 years, I've never had a card. How many MRIs have I had? What is this card you speak of? He wants me to produce the card. There's no card. And I go, I get it. It's a protocol. You have to have a card. I don't have a card. You can't do it. Oh no, he sits me down. And says we can't do it because you could be injured. This is a 3T machine. I've been scanned on a 3T machine. It's a 3T machine. It's going to heat up inside your head. If I don't know what kind of metal it is, bad things can happen to you. And we're not in a hospital. We wouldn't know what to do to take care of you. I was scanned in freaking December. I'm scanned every year for 15 years. It was every six months. Uh, anyway. So I have to have an invisible piece of paper for them to do the scan. And I just said to him, fine, I'll get the scan at Swedish. Well, but we'll fit you in and we can get you at any time. No. We're done with you. I think I'm done with that doctor. 
who sent me here? Why did he send me to this podunky place? He says, well, and I said, why was not my medical history taken before I came down? Before I drove down, why didn't anybody take my medical history? And he says, well, sometimes the hospital does the scheduling and they don't always do that. What if I had a metal plate? What if I had, I could have anything in my head. You took no freaking medical history on the phone. And then act all weird when I get After there. I'm in the machine, in the outfit, with the IV in my arm. Right. As if it's my problem. Yeah. Now I'm pulled out of the machine. He refuses to do the scan. And now I've driven 45 minutes each way and the whole bit. For nothing. For absolutely nothing. Ah. Sorry, I couldn't talk about it inside the building. There was no way. All right. So I've had a little bit of time to calm down, which hasn't really happened. I'm still a little irked. And I realized that he did not check my creatinine levels, which is supposed to happen before any MRI. He had no history on me. He didn't have my previous MRI creatinine levels to go off of or anything. He had on my history that I have a renal issue and he didn't check my creatinine. And I just Googled it to make sure, even if it's a brain MRI, ears, right? Do you check creatinine? Absolutely. That's to make sure my kidneys are functioning so that I can absorb the, or so I can filter that uh, contrast that he started the IV for. So why didn't he check my creatinine levels? Like, if he didn't even know enough to check creatinine before an MRI, which is protocol, he's not safe to do my MRI anyway. So now I'm really glad he didn't do it and I'm just gonna find a different doctor through a different hospital and not even deal with that place ever again. Holy cow. And I know my creatinine's good, but what if it wasn't? What if he shut down my kidneys and made me sick from the contrast? That is so scary. Woo! It's like the Russian roulette of medical care. No, thank you. Don't take those chances. But he wouldn't take a chance without a card that I've never had. Just done, so done. So this is just a little wrap up. Um, I have calmed down now. I am not quite as angry, but um, this doctor that I saw, this ear doctor, I've only seen him once and he told me he was retiring during that visit and then he ordered the scans and then I was gonna follow up with him. Well, now the scans are delayed. He may be retired by the time I even get him done. I'm being followed once every two years at NIH for my ears, so I don't have to have a doctor here. That was sort of a thing that I wanted to do for my safety in case something went wrong. And so, I am going to look up the doctor he recommended that I see and move over to him. He's in the university hospital, so I won't have to worry about them knowing how to do my scan. And so I think that doctor and that hospital, bye bye bye, are done. I'm just not going to go back. I'm just not even going to deal with them. It was just so unprofessional on so many different levels that I don't even... I feel like the doctor didn't read my medical record. The imaging place didn't take my medical record over the phone. The receptionist did not communicate it to the back staff. The staff didn't look at my medical records before he put me in the machine. I mean, I told him I have a shunt and he still didn't even check in the computer before he placed an IV. So, and then no creatinine test. They just failed on so many levels. I am just not going to dink around anymore. I'm going to see if I can get in with that doctor at the university. <sighs> Why does this stuff have to be so hard? It doesn't have to be that hard. All I'm asking for you to do is do your job. You had one job. <laughs> anyway, maybe we'll put that on the stickers. <laughs> you had one job. Anyway, I am so glad to talk to you guys. Have you had a frustrating medical experience? <clears throat> Did you get angry? Did you just shake your head? What was your reaction? I would love to hear it down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notifications so you'll know when I post a new video. See you soon. God bless.